Hi. We have something quite serious to talk about today. Something that we need to put an end to, okay? There's a question that I asked on my community tab, and I asked, what is the most popular Korean drama, okay? Now I realize that question is a bit vague, 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 okay? Um, so I'm gonna be more specific, and then we're gonna get to the bottom of that question in this video. In this video, we're trying to find out what is the most popular Korean drama of all time globally. Okay, so let's get into it. If you're new here, this is the Friendly Drama Queen channel and we talk about everything Asian drama related. I'm quite excited for today's video because I, I thought everyone had the same answer for some weird reason. When I when, some, when someone's asking me this question, I think of maybe two, three dramas, I will mention which ones they are. But I never thought that it could be kind of super polarizing, but it is. So yeah, we're gonna have to get more. We're gonna have to define the question a little bit further. There will be some Googling, which is why I have my laptop. Um, you guys will just be going on this research with me, basically. So right off the bat, what are my biases? What are my pick? If you ask me, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna end myself. Subscribe, like, and comment. If you haven't, please join the channel, okay? I usually make cool videos, I think so anyway. So yeah, join. If you had asked me what is the most popular Korean drama of all time globally, Boys to Flowers, Boys, <laughs> Boys to Flowers, Boys Over Flowers is the first show that comes to my mind. Boys Over Flowers, um, because I just think that is a classic K drama that everyone recognizes, even people who haven't seen it. I would say Boys Over Flowers. I would even say My Love from the Stars and Goblin. And then Squid Games, okay? But I am kind of mad on Squid Games and we're gonna get into why later on in this video. I have to figure out how I'm gonna measure popularity so that I can arrive at a conclusion that all of us can accept. So when I say popular here, I'm looking at a couple of different criteria. Name recognition. So this is basically how many people recognize the name, um, even if they haven't seen the show, if I say like for example, if I say Squid Games, do people know that I'm talking about a Korean show even though they haven't seen it? So I think that's an important metric for popularity. It's kind of like how Game of Thrones is like, no one can debate that that's popular or not because even people who haven't seen it know what that show is about. So I'm looking for a K-drama on that level. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna use Google Trends uh, to measure that. So what I'm gonna be doing is when I get to that part of the video, I'm going to be checking to see what the most Googled Korean drama within the shortlist is. And then that will tell us uh, what has a bit of a name recognition. Of course, that's not a perfect way of measuring it. It's just a way that makes more sense for <laughs> what I'm trying to do right now. Um, so that is the way I'll be using. The one thing about Google Trends though is that it only goes as far back as 2004. So we are kind of cutting off a few of the oldie, oldie, oldie dramas. Okay, next thing is obviously viewership slash streaming. Not because we're talking about globally, like in the entire world. <laughs> I'm going to be looking at viewership specifically on streaming and specifically on Netflix. Um, because Netflix is kind of the biggest streaming. It is, I think it is the biggest streaming site and it caters to a lot of countries, but they carry quite a huge selection of Korean dramas and they have for some time now. So I think there's enough data there that we can look at. So we're gonna be heading over to Flix Patrol to look at what the most uh, viewed or most watched Korean dramas on there of all time that I can find. Um, and then finally, we're gonna be looking at the global impact or cultural impact that the drama may have had. Now, this is going to be hard to measure and I'm not going to try and measure this one. It's going to be the tiebreaker, the deal breaker. When I have a short list of three dramas and I'm trying to decide which one had the more, most impact. Now, I'm not, I don't really care about things like if it was well liked or critically acclaimed uh, because that doesn't really translate to popularity. Something could be superly high rated. <laughs> Superly high rated. Something could be really, something could be really, really highly wild. Okay, 
So what I'm trying to say is, yeah, uh, I don't care if the show was well loved or if it received 50 different awards because that doesn't matter when it comes to popularity. Um, it's great. But if we find some data on that, I'll discuss it as well. My starting point here is Googling what, finding out what Google thinks or what Google tells me is the most popular Korean drama. So what is the most popular K-drama of all time? So it takes me to this website preview, the PH, and right off the bat, I see The World of the Married, which is a 2020 drama, and We're Born Rich is a 2022 drama. Now, these are great dramas. Do not get me wrong, these are great dramas. The World of the Married, I'm obsessed with. Reborn Rich, I'm obsessed with. But are they the most popular K-dramas of all time globally? It's gonna be a no. It's just, for me, it's a straight up no. There's absolutely no way. Lots of people don't even know about The World of the Married. Like, it was popular in Korea, for sure. It is popular even, I would say, internationally as well. But, um... I don't think it has a name recognition. I just don't think it does. So another tricky thing with determining this is also when the drama when the drama was released, okay? Because is it fair to compare a classic drama like Autumn in My Heart to a drama like Squid Games, where like that one has aged, but it has longevity. People still know what I'm talking about. Okay, maybe, maybe if you don't know what I'm talking about, a good example is like Boys Over Flowers. Like that came out in 2009, I believe, and is still being referenced and talked about till today uh versus something that came out like in 2020 so i feel like i need to put some constraints to this research i think we're going to exclude dramas that were released after 2018 i think uh five years if it's been released i'm taking five years basically off and i'm saying if the drama has existed for basically up to five years and is still being referenced to today then that speaks to its popularity Okay, so I'm going to hop in here and explain something. As I'm editing, it's becoming clear that the most Googled drama of all time and the most watched drama of all time are not going to match up. I don't have enough data to determine what the most watched drama is of all time because I can't, I can't find streaming for Boys Over Flowers versus something like Squid Games. And it only makes sense that Squid Games would win in that because Korean dramas are only getting more and more popular over time. So this video is going to be more about what is the more what is the most classically popular Korean drama, which is why I'm taking five years off of 2023. So the drama should have existed for at least five years to be a contender for this title. Next. Next. Okay, now I'm going to be looking at what my drama list is saying is the most popular. My drama list is a very popular, um, and I think it's one of the biggest K-drama community. On the site, you can basically track the dramas you're watching. You can make uh, an account and keep track of everything you're watching and even engage with other fellow K-drama watchers. Um, so I am going to check what the site says is the most popular popular show now this is with a grain of salt obviously um i'm looking at drama list because it's the biggest international community of kid dramas that i am aware of okay um let me know if there are others i don't know but this will tell me something right now i'm looking at this list and goblin is up top and i'm like you know what that makes sense goblin is number one for the most popular k drama and strong woman bong su is followed it's following it um, that's a bit surprising. Strong Woman is surprising, is it not? 2017 and Goblin was released in 2016. Now, like, ooh, already I'm like that there's longevity to Goblin. Goblin is still being referenced till today. I can see that being one of the most popular. From this list, we're taking Goblin and Strong Woman Bong Su. And then the next site I wanted to kind of just like check uh, was Vicky, see what Vicky's most popular drama is what is coming up right now are what's wrong with secondary kim which came out in 2018 so that's really cutting it for us i just don't think what's wrong with secretary kim should be compared with something like goblin and i just i really just don't agree i love it i love it for what it is but i think it's a drama that is not going to be referenced in like five to ten years next is true beauty uh yeah true beauty was popular but it's also aired past 2018 I don't know if this is going to be a classic. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But okay, so I think we have a short list of dramas and I'm going to add 
the ones that I think as well. So now we're looking at Boys Over Flowers, My Love From The Stars, Goblin, Strong Woman Bong Su, and What's Wrong With Secretary Kim. So yeah, there's that. Okay, next we're gonna go to Google Trends. Um, first I'm gonna work backwards and see what Google Trends is telling me was the most Googled K-drama of all time, okay? And then we're gonna cross check with our list and move on. Or Google Trends, we're gonna type in Korean dramas as a search term, okay? And then we're gonna just like clean this up. So we're gonna go worldwide. We're gonna go since 2004, which is as far back as this is allowing me to go and then all categories and web search, okay? So it's interesting to see how K-dramas has evolved, right? In popularity when it comes to being like search. That's really good, cool. Lots of people are into it. And now I'm gonna look at related topics to see what Korean drama comes up. Um, okay, so as I'm doing this, I'm seeing Lee Min Ho and I'm seeing Boys Over Flowers. So yeah, I knew Boys Over Flowers would be here. Yeah, Boys Over Flowers and the airs. Let's ignore that. <laughs> We're ignoring that. As much as I wanted to ignore the ears um, in this round, I did put it back in. It is actually a very strong contender for the most popular Korean drama of all time. Okay, now that Boys Over Flowers on here, now I'm gonna put all the K dramas that uh, we are looking at as contenders for this title and see how they trend together. Okay, if you're looking at from today, as of today, Goblin is winning in terms of being the most relevant by a slim margin, and then you have Boys Over Flowers behind it. It's a bit tough, but I think that the four we've arrived at are actually pretty good representative of like popular dramas that have had, had some impact. Wow, look how, look at the spike that My Love From The Stars had. And My Love From The Stars came out in... That isn't, that is probably the oldest drama on the list if I'm not wrong. Yeah, no, Boys Over Flowers is. Uh, Boys of Flowers and My Love and Stars 2009 and 2013. My inclination is to give this to the older dramas just because if they're still competing with the newer ones till today, like that is crazy. I think also something that keeps Boys of Flowers relevant is that it keeps getting adapted because look, there's a spike here uh, earlier this year actually. It's a little bit of a spike. Um, Strong Woman Bong Su is holding its own but it's pretty much at the bottom when it comes to relevance right now, along with my love for the stars. It's really Goblin and Boys Over Flowers that are up there. Okay, so I think our debate... Okay, actually, I want to shed more insight in these dramas. So my love from the stars, I know it came out at the peak of when K-dramas were like just starting to take off internationally. Um, it spearheaded both their careers with Ji Jun Hyun's and Kim So Hyun. Um, anything that she wore in the show sold out. Her lipstick, her lip gloss. I think the whole industry of like chicken and beer boomed as well because she was eating it on the show. So when it, when it comes to like economic impact, I think that show super surpasses really all of these ones. I think so. Um, Boys Over Flowers though, Boys Over Flowers um, had more of an impact when it comes to, I think, the story. like even just the structure of storytelling when it comes to a lot of these K-dramas. Like, it didn't really age well, but for a while, it was the start of K-drama. It's a drama that most people recommended to others. So I think when it comes to name recognition, Boys Over Flowers is stronger. It has to be stronger. And when you say Goblin and you say name recognition, those two are strong. If you Google Goblin on just Google, I think even without putting K-drama beside it, Okay, that's not true. It's not that powerful. <laughs> it's not that powerful. Um, but I mean, it's pretty high on the search. I think most people know what you're talking about when you say Goblin, when you say um, Boys or Flowers. My Love from the Stars, although it was culturally impactful, um, I would say it is kind of losing relevance and has lost relevance over the past five years. So unfortunately, I can't say it's the most popular of all time. Okay, I will let go of My Love from the Stars. I will... Bye bye. I'm gonna take away Strong Woman and Bong Su because it's cute, but it did lose relevance over time. And I don't think it's been relevant for the past five years. 
Uh, maybe unless there's a remake along the corner. I think that our main two contenders here is between Goblin and Boys Over Flowers. And come on now. <sighs> this one would just have to be down to preference. But no, we have to answer this question. I would watch Goblin over Boys Over Flowers. But Boys Over Flowers is a classic. It's classically, it's classically the most popular. Yep, that, that's what I'm sticking with. I'm gonna go with Boys Over Flowers being classically the most popular. Okay, so I'm laughing at myself as I'm editing this because it's so clear on the graph that Boys Over Flowers wins as the most cool Korean drama of all time. You can literally see it on the graph and yet I'm going on and on about how this is so tough. Um, but it's right there. Goblin may be the most relevant when it comes to the past year, but since 2004 till now, Boys Over Flowers has been the most Googled, so it does deserve this title. Yeah, I just think it's funny. I think it's Boys Over Flowers. Say what you will about that drama, but I am now declaring it the most popular drama globally of all time. I am. Um, it launched the careers of a lot of the actors in it, and it put it put K-drama on the map, I think, in a lot of people's minds. This is their starter drama. They're very attached to it, even though it's problematic as hell. Um, so yeah, I think, I think I've made up my mind. One thing though I'm gonna do now at this part of the video is give my, give my, um, I'm gonna give my shout out to Squid Games, okay? I never, I didn't end up going to Flix Patrol. We're gonna do that right now just to see. It's fun to know what is the most watched K-drama. Okay, so I'll give you the stats. I Googled it already in on Flix Patrol. And here's what I found. So Crash Landing on You was the K-drama with the longest number of days that it was ranked in the top 10 for Netflix. And it stayed there for 864 days. That is no easy feat, okay? Vincenzo follows behind it with 636 days. So that is those dramas basically were the ones that were ranked the longest in the top 10 for netflix okay that's not an easy fit feat and then squid games has two records it has the record of being the k drama that hit number one in the highest number of countries in a single day 81 countries so when it launched it hit number one in 81 countries um, in one day. So that's also not a, not a, like, give them their flowers. And then, um, Squid Games also has the record for holding the number one position worldwide on Netflix for 53 days. And so that effectively answers the question. Like, if I'm going to talk about, if I put everything back, I would say Boiler Flowers is classically the most popular K-drama of all time. And then from recent memory, we're going to be looking between Squid Games, Vincenzo, and Crash Landing on You. And Squid Games does take the cake there for global impact. It just does. So we have two winners in this video. Okay, hopefully no one is offended. I think these. this is based on just like, mostly you can see it in the trends. Uh oh. You can see it in the trends. Yeah. Let me know if you agree. What do you think the most popular Korean drama is of all time? Again, globally, globally. Um, I'm also curious to know what you thought. You can also say your two cents, what you think the most popular Korean drama is in your country. I've been talking for quite some time. Now it's time for me to go. Um, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Again, just to conclude, Boys Over Flowers is my pick for the most popular Korean drama series of all time. Um, yeah, and then in the recent years, I listed those four, so you can check any of those ones out. Catch you in the next video. Bye.